The family is asking for support for funeral expenses. You're watching KESQ, the desert's news leader. This is News Channel 3, live at 6. Some residents are still out of their homes after last week's mobile home fire in Desert Hot Springs, and they're now getting some help. Local officials and state agencies opened a resource center today to help those families. News Channel 3's Miyoshi Price is live at Desert Hot Springs High School with more on the help that is now available. Miyoshi. Hi, John. Yes, I am live at Desert Hot Springs High School, where multiple families were forced from their homes and having to stay at a shelter here to receive resources after their homes were completely destroyed from the fire. I was completely devastated. Um, I'm a single mother of two kids, and I had just recently moved into the mobile home parks. Julieta Perez is one of many families who were forced out of their homes after a fire at the Country Squire RV in Mobile Home Park in Desert Hot Springs. She is now sleeping at a shelter with her two children. I went to Desert Hot Springs High School, you know, and never in a million years did I think I'd be sleeping at the gym that I went to high school in. You know, and my kids, to be honest, they're little. They're 10 and 6 years old. Riverside County Emergency Management Department opened a resource center and shelter at the high school. Marilyn Castaneda is showing me all of the agencies that are provided at the center. So today they can have access to the Department of Public Social Services. We have the county clerk here. We also have the tax board, California Insurance, Cal OES is here, the American Red Cross, WIC, DMV and the Office of Employment. Perez is left trying to pick up the pieces of what she lost. I lost, I lost completely everything. I have nothing. I, I went back to the site the following day and just looking at everything that I had worked so hard to get, just in complete ashes, is, is hard. It's hard to accept. She says her children are happy to be able to play with other children. The Red Cross provided them with video games, books, and board games while they stay in the shelter. But Perez says she worries about what's next. The city has gotten together trying to see if we can find housing, but every, as far as I know right now, I don't have anywhere to live right now. I don't have anything that is concrete that is for sure that I can go and sleep in. We did receive a little good news from Riverside officials saying that some families were able to go home, but those families that are still at the shelter are just waiting to find out where they will be living come Monday when the shelter will close. If you would like to donate to some of those families, go to an article on our website at KESQ.com. I'm live in Desert Hot Springs, Miyoshi Price, News Channel 3.